Happy birthday, Mel. I love you. I pray that God blesses you with many, many more years. God bless you. This is uh, Big Bra. I call him to wish you a happy birthday. I love you much. And I'm really proud of you and the way you raised uh, my nephew. Uh, and plus my grandkids and things. Uh, you've done all, all the things you've done. Uh, I love you, boy, but I love you because you are who you are, and you love your family, and we love you. And so I want to say happy birthday to you. And if I was there, I'd give you a big kiss and a hug. Love you, and have a nice day. What if I told you a story, a ghetto story, a survival story, a triumphant story, a story of a little girl born in Richmond, December 7, 1960 was the year. She was like a rose growing in the hood, nobody seen her. Alcohol and drugs was too much of the amusement. She grew up barely knowing her mom, but knew her pops. She was raised by her grandma, she called her mom. She had a total of 12 siblings. Eight from her mom and dad, a family that was broken, a family she never had. The system separated them from the beginning. Who would have known she would be the one to try to end it? She's been through it all, some things she don't mention. But I love all the stories she'll tell me of her beginnings. Traveling around the world with the woman she called her mom. Having to use the bathroom in the back of the restaurant. She's been through it all and yet she's still here. I would tell you her age, but my life I'll have to fear. So I'll just tell you she's 50 something. Nah, let's dial it back, she's probably 30 something. But let's get back to the story she learned from all of her mistakes. She would tell me not to look through the blinds when it was dark. Why? Because when she was a little kid, she did the same thing and got shot. In her eyes, she raised five kids with one eye. Who would have known one of her eyes was even blind? But she'll never tell you and you probably wouldn't notice because she is too strong for anything to run her over. Which brings me to my next story. This little girl became a lady, a lady that didn't play about her babies. If you mess with one of them, well, you shouldn't. You might end it up on the curb, ran over. Long story short, this little girl that became a lady is the strongest woman I ever known since I was a baby. She has the heart of gold and her love is very pure. And if you was family, she always had room. So who is this rose that grew from the hood? This rose is my mom. The rose that nobody seen, but still grew. Hey, Auntie, um, I would like to wish you a happy birthday, many more. Also, I'd like to say a few things. You not only been a great mother role to me, but uh, also a father role. It's kind of crazy. Me and Franny didn't have our parents in our life. You've been raising us since we were babies. And also, to think about it, it's crazy that you have the patience that you do to take in family members from the whole family, generations of the family. It's actually crazy. So I look at you as you've been the glue of the family. You always will be the glue. I feel like I don't have to ask you for money or help because I'm a hard worker. And you taught me that by not telling me, but by showing me. And also I feel like uh, you taught me valuable lessons as far as sheltering. And I always remember you told me you live a born life, but living a born life will help you survive for a while. And you know, that's really why I'm kind of born now. I don't like you know, going out and doing stuff. So I appreciate you for that. And you know, I love you, wish you a happy birthday. When I was told that I had to make a video expressing how I feel about my auntie, I never would think that it would be a hard video to tape um, because my auntie has done so much for me, my brother, my family she's kept us together like glue she's cared for everyone and made sure she's had time for everyone she's basically like one of the most wonderful people that anyone could meet I would never think that it would be hard to say that I couldn't imagine 
not having her and my kids not having her. She took me in from when I was a kid and has always shown me love and loved me like I was her child. And I just want to say, I really love you, Amy. You ready? So when do I start talking? You can start right now. <laughs> <laughs> you can start right now. <laughs> yep. Okay. Uh, all right. So let me just say this. Uh, hello, uh, Aunt Mildred. Happy birthday. Um, I just want you to know this is uh, your nephew, Lala. And uh, I sit back and I think about our relationship. And starting from, you know, me being real little up until now, you know, I really appreciate uh, everything you've done for me. I just want you to know that, uh, you know, when you really need for me to come through for you, I'm gonna come through. And um, you really just don't know or probably understand deep in my heart uh, how much I truly appreciate you. And uh, I'm gonna be here for you. And uh, I just wanna thank you for everything you've done for me over the years, starting from when I was a little kid up until now. And I still tell myself when I'm driving down the street, I say, wow, you know, I really appreciate my Aunt Mildred and everything she has done. And I'm hoping that somewhere down the line, now or later, you know, God really bless you. And I just want to say, uh, you know, I love you and miss you. And even though, you know, we work and we're apart, um, you know, I'm still the same. La la. So... Um, once again, I hope you enjoy your birthday and take care of yourself and keep getting younger and I love you and thanks a lot and I appreciate it and you know as soon as I run across some real serious money, you're the first person I'm going to think about. So uh, I've been saying that so I'm trying to win the lottery so here, so whenever that anything happens, I'm going to be looking for you builders so just remember somehow keep away for me to keep in contact and um, so far um, only thing I just send out my best wishes to you and keep enjoying life and and thank you for being there for me for my whole life thank you I remember do you remember that song that Usher song that came out in 2004 on his Confessions album. The song was called Yeah, featuring Little John and Ludacris. And I know most people have heard of it, probably jammed out to it and everything like that. And of course, I remember me and my cousins listening to that song and that album, but I have a confession of my own to make. That song called Yeah, I never really liked it. And every time I hear it, the song makes me think to a time in the past Back in college, that song Yeah was played by a friend of mine's and that friend asked me did I like it when it came out. And my answer was no. And here's the reason why. I remember one day coming home from school. At that time I was only in elementary school. Cooper was the name and my house wasn't far from it. We called it the Green House because the color was peppermint green all over on the street of Tuolumne. My cousin and I would walk home every day. It wasn't any problem because our house was only about five minutes away. We ran up the stairs to get to the porch, quickly entering through the front door, which was a little unusual because most days we would have to go through the back door. Now, in our backyard was our crazy dog. Her name was Kobe and she was always ready to play. Oh yeah, and I forgot to mention that we were only in the third grade. I mention this because we were small and our dog was big. Well, at least to us. It's funny when you're a kid, everything seems big, but the truth is, you're just really small. Nevertheless, Kobe was our crazy dog. We'll have to trick her for me or my cousin to make it through the back door, and here's how we would do it. Our backyard was surrounded by a brick wall. The wall surrounded the sides of the house as well as the backyard. So, I'll be on one end of the wall distracting Kobe, while my cousin will hop the opposite wall. He'll run into the house quickly, entering through the back door, which will lead to the garage. Once he got into the garage, he'll go up the stairs into the kitchen, walk from the kitchen into the living room, opening the front door for me, mission complete, and vice versa, 
We'll trade off time to time, but most of the time he'll do this process for me. Well, until Kobe began to catch on. Sometimes my cousin wouldn't make it through the back door without Kobe putting them paws on him, practically beating him up lefts and rights, even though to her she was just playing. However, this day, my other cousin Franny was home. She was chilling on the couch and the door was unlocked. I opened the door and there it was. The new music video to Usher's new song. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, I'm in the club with my homies. You know, that song? The song wasn't bad for my initial here, but it wasn't exactly the song. It was what happened that day that made me fear. My mom would usually come home not too long after me and my cousin would make it home. So I was waiting for her, and waiting for her, and waiting for her, and waiting. Time passed by and it began to get dark. It was around the time of five o'clock. I remember constantly asking for my mom, wondering where she was because she wasn't home. Throughout that day, I began to worry more and more about my mom. And in the background playing, you guessed it, that Usher song. Finally around 6.30 PM, my oldest brother James called and told us that something happened to our mom. He said she was in a car accident and it wasn't good. Shortly after he said, she'll be okay, she'll be home. My mama broke her nose and her eyes were swollen closed. And I just remember being scared, hoping everything was all right. James was at the hospital with her and then he brought her home. When she got home, it was almost time for my night to come to a close. I remember walking from my room to my mom's room, which was diagonally across from each other. Seeing my mom for the first time like that in pain brought me fear. Mama, I was waiting for you all day, but now I was scared. So when my friend asked me, do I like this song, Yeah, by Usher? My answer is no, because it reminds me of the time I felt like I was going to lose my mother. Happy birthday, Mill. I hope you're going to live your best life today. I'm leaving my job right now. I don't know if you can see it. It's out here in Vegas. But I hope you have the best birthday. You guys have a wonderful family. Wonderful kids. All you guys are real amazing. I miss you guys. And I'm, I'm, I'm going to be out there live, moving back next year. But... You know, I just wanna, I just wanna say happy birthday. From the bottom of my heart, I love you, I miss you. Uh, you're a very strong woman. I mean, I've seen how you raise your kids. Your kids are very strong, very strong kids, smart kids. So you guys, you know, have a wonderful, wonderful day. And uh, hopefully I can see you guys. Love you. Happy birthday, Miss Stevenson. Hope you have a good one. God bless. Thank you for always letting us come over and Making this feel at home. I just wanted to say to a loving, wonderful mom, friend, sister, aunt, you've always been there for people when needed someone just to talk to. And you have so many great qualities about you, and you're fun to be around. Uh, you have great wisdom. And, um, I just wish you many, many more birthdays. God bless. Hi, Mildred. This is Kim. I just want to let you know that I do believe that you are the classiest woman that I've met. Um, and I do wish that we could get together and have more conversations with one another because I do believe we would be good friends. I want you to have the best birthday that you can have. I want you to turn it up and just have a good time, honey, and I love you. Thank you. Miss Stevenson, this is Josh. I uh, just wanted to make you a video, wish you a happy birthday, um, and tell you how much you meant to me. You were like a second mom as I was growing up. You're always there. You always had uh, you always had good advice for me when I was messing up. Uh, you you showed so much patience and kindness uh, more than than anybody would expect you to. Uh, thanks to you. You know, I have, I'm here with my family and I'm taking good care of them. And, uh, and mostly I was thanks to you, you were there through my teenage years. So uh, I'll never forget 
everything you've done for me. I appreciate you. To the ends of the earth, I love you very much. And happy birthday. My mama didn't quit. From my aunties to my cousins and even my brother's friends, my mama took them in. Superwoman, she's there to help you, but where her rose is at, they say that thought they grew, but my mama didn't quit. The one who gives the most love didn't receive the same love, and yet she still loves you because my mama didn't quit. Quitters never prosper and losses take a toll. She's a fighter and most fighters are not undefeated, but my mama didn't quit. You could have left her out to dry or didn't bat an eye. She'll still lend you a shoulder to make sure you was covered because my mama didn't quit. As a kid, I used to think that we was rich even though we were poor, but I wouldn't have ever known because I had everything I wanted because my mama didn't quit. Thank you for not quitting on me and my brothers and teaching us to love one another. We have a bond that's unbreakable because my mama didn't quit. I thank you from the bottom of my heart for teaching me that true love comes with sacrifices and within my sacrifices, I will never quit because my mama didn't quit. Hey, it's a party. <laughs> Love you, auntie. Happy birthday. Man, one of my favorite things about when you show up, you you never show up just regular. You just, when you walk in, you, you lit up, your ring shining. You always got on some kind of glasses or a coat or something. And it's just, it's a party when you arrive. And we love that. Hey, Mildred. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. It's your birthday. <laughs> I hope you're having a good day. Hope you had a good week, a good month, a good year, and many more to come. You're going to have a good night tonight. I already know. I remember we all would always come over to the house and play video games with Frank and Demetrius. Don't tell Grandma, but you had to let his house. Don't tell nobody. But yeah, happy birthday. Thank you for always letting me come over. It's your big day. Celebrate it up. Love you. Mwah. Happy birthday! I love you! I just want to say a few words to you. It takes an amazing woman to raise three beautiful boys or men like you did. And that's one thing I always admire about you. I love you. Have the happiest, most wonderful birthday ever! <laughs> Let's do something. Hey sis, happy birthday. I've always been a part of your family. I love you dearly, always. <laughs> oh, happy birthday. Hi Millie, I want to wish you happy birthday sis. I love you tons and I love the love you brought to my life. Mwah. What is soul to me? Soul is excitement, fear, and love. It's the feeling you have when your first baby is born. My mama got soul. Soul is being a woman, raising a boy into a man, showing that little boy I'm doing the best that I can. And whether your dad's there or not, you will learn soul because you will learn it from your mom. My mama got soul. Soul is fear pain and tears, not knowing if your baby will make it even to a year. But your baby is a fighter, and to this day he is. So I guess you can say being born one and a half pounds was just a number, and now your second baby boy has soul, just like his mother. My mama got soul. Soul is pushing through, even if you have to work one job or two. Raising two black boys into two great men, the odds are stacked against you. Being a black single mother, how did you push through? Because you have soul that God gave to you. My mama got soul. Soul is crying, not knowing what you're going to do. When you're told by the doctors, your third baby is coming soon. Your firstborn tells you he'll help you though. And your secondborn also helps you as if he has grown. And now your third baby's here saying, my mama got soul. Soul is raising three black boys into three successful black men. 
not to mention taking all of the family in. You raised a businessman who was the best father to his kids, a firefighter paramedic who was the best husband to his rib, and of course a film production graduate who was fearless because of your might. It's safe to say all of my mom's children got sold, just like their mom. My mama got sold. Hello, Mildred. God bless you. This is your brother calling to wish you happy birthday and many more to come. Letting you know that we love you and thank God for technology. For without it, I'm not sure when I would talk to you, but I'm praying and hoping I talk to you soon. Happy birthday. Happy birthday, sweetie. God bless you. See you soon. Hi. Questa wishing Mildred a very, very happy birthday. So you know what? I'm going to keep this kind of short. We're going to say a little happy birthday to you. Okay? You ready? Yeah, ready. Hey, like the hand, hand go. Happy, happy birthday, birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Mildred. Happy birthday to you. We love you so. Happy birthday, Mildred. Happy girl. birthday, Mildred. All right, honey. Many more. Baby. Sister Hale, we love you. We love you. We love you. To my Auntie Mildred, I want to say happy birthday to you. And I love you, and I always will love you. Um, please forgive me for anything if I disrespect you because you've been there for me my whole entire life, okay? You always love me. I always love you. I love your whole family. So I just want to say happy birthday to you. Happy birthday. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday. Love you. My mama crazy, man. <laughs> my mama taught me when you wake up and you had that crust around your eyes, my mama taught me that the name was Cruddy Yuts and she didn't teach me how to spell it. My mama taught me if you lie, you get little bumps on your tongue, but who would have known that we all get little bumps on our tongue? So I, I guess she taught me that we was always lying. My mama taught me to use black suede powder when you get out the shower. My mama taught me testify, put God always first and you won't end up in a hearse. Well, she didn't teach me that last part, but it rhymed. My mama taught me when you get sick to nip it in the bud. My mama taught me to fake it until you make it. And Lord, I'm doing it to this day, to this day. Deontay Wilder. My mama taught me if someone hits you, you hit them back. I know that's not in the Bible, but my mama taught me that. My mama taught me to pull up my pants. And if I was to sag, to make sure I don't show my... Well, you know what I'm talking about. My mama taught me to never give up, no matter how much you're going through, always have hope and you'll push through. My mama taught me to respect her, respect my brothers, and to respect myself. My mama taught me to listen and pay attention before I try to make a difference. My mama taught me that I am somebody. And to this day, I remember everything that my mama taught me. My mama taught me that there's no favorites when it comes to her babies. And I know she'll appreciate that. My mama taught me so many things and I'll remember them all. But most of all, I'll remember that love comes with sacrifices from everything my mama sacrificed for me and my brothers. My mama taught me, seriously, how to be a man. And in the future, I'll teach my kids the best that I can. Everything my mama taught me. All the way from Stockton, we love you. Happy birthday. Happy birthday, sister-in-law. Happy birthday. I'm recording now. But my baby, I'm still in my now. This is me. So please accept me for who I am. And please accept me. Happy birthday, I think. I'm on my way to work, sis. Surprise, mom! 
First and foremost, happy birthday. I hope you have such an amazing day today. I hope that you feel so special and I hope you know that you're so important to everyone around you. Um, I want to thank you for all the love you have given me and my family throughout all these years. I want you to know that you're so beautiful, kind, and such an inspiring woman to me. You have such an amazing heart and I am forever blessed and so happy that you are part of my life and I hope you enjoy your birthday. Have a great day. Live your best life today and always. Take care. I love you. What's up dog? It's me your dog. Just tapping in to say happy birthday, happy birthday, happy, happy birthday. Not only that, just want you to know uh, that I appreciate our dogship. And I love you to pieces. And I just want you to continue to be who you are. That loving, kind, sweet, crazy dog. <laughs> and just want you to know that I appreciate you so much. And thanks for being my friend. Um, just want to say once again, happy birthday. Have the best birthday ever. Oh, yeah. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear dog. That's my dog. That's my dog. That's my dog. <laughs> Happy birthday. Love you. October 7th, 2013. My mama sent me a letter. A letter that I'll never forget because this letter made me feel better. I was in college at the time, my first time being away from the family. This was about a month into, well, my new journey. At the time I was homesick and it was hard to be away because since I was a little kid, wherever my mom was, was where I wanted to stay. But I had to make a decision, a decision for the better. Because ever since I was a kid, I wanted to make my mom's life better. I graduated from college, knowing you would be proud. Truth is, the only reason why I went was to see you smile. I'm sorry that we're still going through hard times too, but just give me a little bit of time and these hard times will be through. You deserve nothing but the best because you are truly the best mom. You're my best friend, and I mean that from the heart. I don't know what I would do if something was to happen to you, but while you're still here, I will make sure to always tell you that I love you. I love you, mom. Happy birthday, Eva! Love you, Mom. Happy birthday. We miss you, and we wish you a very, very happy birthday. And uh, your day. We want to thank you for everything you've done for me and my family and uh, teaching me the right way of how to raise a family. So I love you, and enjoy your beautiful day. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Oh, we'll go. Peace! Happy birthday, Auntie! <laughs> I love you. Um, I really enjoy spending time with you when we have family events, um, you know, eating, music. You're really big on family. And one of the things I most enjoy when I do have an opportunity to spend time with you is learning from you. Um, I really enjoy hearing about family and upbringing and um, relatives and just family history and I think that's an interest that you and I both share um, so I definitely want to have a lot more time with you to learn from you um, I'm so proud of you I mean my cousins are just so awesome 
You've raised these boys, these men, on your own, pretty much, right? And you use your faith as strength. And so I, I look at that, and I want to definitely um, achieve what you have achieved. I want my boys to grow up to be great men, you know, and I definitely am using my faith, you know, to give me strength. And, um, and so I definitely want my, my kids, Maurice, Brandon, Javion, to just have more time with you and their cousins. So I love you. I just want to let you know that. And I know um, there, we don't have a lot of time for you to hear me say that to you. And so hopefully this video can be um, a record, you know, that um, I love and appreciate you. You're my favorite aunt. Shh, tiny body. But um, I've always enjoyed you. I have memories as a kid spending a night at your house. And um, I'll never forget. So... Happy birthday. Happy birthday, Mew. This is your sister-in-law, Sunny. June Law, a.k.a. Sunny. How you doing, Mew? So, I want to send this special message out to you and tell you how very, very important you are to me. And I want to tell you that I just appreciate all these years that you have been in my life and vice versa. Man, it's been a, a long time, Mel. When we met, I was 18. And I think you were 15, 16. Because we're only like two or three years apart. I think three. When I first came out and visited at Mama's house, and me and Sugar just gotten out of Job Corps, and we had so much fun at Mama's house, in Reese's room, sitting at the bar, talking, drinking champagne. Remember champagne? Do they even make champagne anymore? I don't know, but I know I used to like it. I have to, I have to check it out, because I like Champelle. But anyway, this is your day, Mel. Happy birthday. Wow. And I just want to let you know how special you are to me. Because all of these years, you have been so sweet and kind and inviting me to all the family functions. I know a lot that I haven't been able to make, but just, just the fact of you inviting me, especially after me and Sugar Reese separated, um, I, it made me feel so good because you, you kept me, you kept me in the family. And I know I'm always going to be a part of the family because my daughter, Brandy, and your son, they're first cousins. But it still feels special when you know that somebody loves you. And I want you to know that I love you too, Mel. And you're a very special lady. And on your special day, I want you to know that you have made some great strides in your life. You've raised three wonderful, brilliant young men. I mean, I haven't been in Steve and Demetrius' life, you know, when they were born and growing up. Um, but, I feel like I have been, you know. It's just so wonderful when we get together. I had a wonderful talk with uh, Steve. We all did, me and Sugar and, and Glenn. And just to hear the strides that 
that he's gone through and he's made him to see him come through with the boxing and whatnot and to see Demetrius with his filming and the things that he's doing in his life and to see James, what he has accomplished. You have raised some wonderful, I mean, wonderful young men. And I remember James being like a father figure to them and helping them and leading them. You know, that, that could not have been done without your leadership, Mildred. You know? And I'm just so proud of you. Because that's, that's not an easy feat. You know, to accomplish, to have three young men never been in trouble. And I've never seen anything but positive things coming, you know, out of their lives. You see what you did? This, you did this, Mildred. So, for this, I want to say happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday. I'm going to leave it at that. But happy birthday, Mildred. I love you. Hey, 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 little sis. This is your boy, your brother, that loves you like no other. And I just want to say, happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday. I just want to say <laughs> that you are the best. My little sister, <laughs> you're the best in the West. I just want to say. All right, that was it. But anyway, <laughs> I just want to say I love you, sis, and I wish you many more birthdays. You're the best. You brought in the best people in the world, man. My nephews are great. James, Steve, Demetrius, awesome people. I am so proud of you. I love you. I wish you many, many more birthdays. We go way back, sis. Love you for life. The old foundation. Give me my flowers while I'm living. Not marking that lady that said it, but you know who it is, Mildred. Grandma. A woman that tried to give us good morals and raise us right. Taught us how to keep ourselves clean, house clean, and uh, to go to church. And uh, just was trying to be the best mother and grandmother she can be. And uh, I love, learned to love and appreciate her. Even though she gave us whoopings, <laughs> whippings with those switches that we had to go pick off the tree ourselves, we still love and appreciate her. And um, one thing I remember, we went to church together and how grandmama would come and get me sometimes when I didn't want to go to church. and. Um, if I wasn't up and ready to go, she'd come down there and get me, knocking at the door. It's the whole foundation. And if I wasn't up ready to go, well, I got whipped. <laughs> but uh, I come to love and appreciate that now. She tried to do the best she could. And uh, I love that about her. And I love the fact that we shared that history together. And uh, I love you, cuz. You know, we go way back. We have a history together. As I say, going to church, I remember how we would go to church uh, Sunday school and uh, Grandma would give us money to put in the plate. Sometimes we did, sometimes we put a little bit and say someone went to the store and got some candy and come back and sit there up upstairs. We couldn't be seen and eat, eat our candy and uh, it was all good. Um, also, I remember how creative you used to be you know when I would come over and play you have a dollhouse in the closet <laughs> that you made would have a towel laid out like a carpet and matchbox the little matchbox you would make furniture out of 
maybe wrap some material around it and make couches and chairs, tables or whatever. And we would play with our Barbie dolls and we had a great time. And, um, you know, that was good about our, our history, uh, the memories I have when I sit back and think about it from time to time, you know, reminiscing. Um, it was it was a cool thing, you know, just thinking about what we used to do together. I mean, we played together, we went to church together, we even worked together. And um, that was great, you know. Alan Ritchie, we did that. Um, man, we can go on and on and talk about those days. And um, I don't know, it's, it's a lot of history that we have together. And that's what family is all about. And you helped me um, in so many ways. And I just want to take the time to say, hey, cuz I love and appreciate you for being there for me. Um, all I had to do is pick up the phone and call and you were there for me. You know, you'll be over to my house in a matter of minutes if something was going down, whether it was with my kids, you was ready to go down for whatever reason it would be. i never forget that time Misha got in trouble with something. And uh, we had just moved here to Vallejo and uh, got in trouble with some neighbors. And you was here, butcher night, <laughs> at the park ready to, <laughs> to harm anybody that was gonna try to harm your loved ones. <laughs> And uh, I remember when the police came and everything, and they didn't do anything. It was just us trying to protect ourselves. And uh, wow, I just look back on a lot of crazy things that happened in our lives. And from beginning to end, and you was always through my history. And I just love and appreciate you for being there for me, because I love you. I can't tell you how much I love you. I, I may not show it, but I always have you here in my heart. And I know you love me because you always have been there for me. And I just want to take this time out to say thank you. I love you. And I just hope you be here another 50 years. That'll make you 108, so I don't think you want to be no older than that. <laughs> but um, I just hope. Oh, I forgot to say uh, how you did so well as being a mother with your children. You know, um, you worked so hard. I remember being a single mother, you worked two or three jobs, you know, and you just showed me, hey, I'm gonna do what I got to do for mine. And um, a lot of things I learned from you by your actions. Um, I may not have did it successfully as good as you, but I'm just glad and uh, grateful Maybe I'm not using the right words, but I'm just happy for you. With that being said, well done. You did a great job. And I'm just so proud of you and I'm so happy for you. Every time you would tell me, James is doing this and Steve is doing that and Demetrius is doing that, it's like, wow, you know, it's just like, it made me feel good just to know someone in our family is being successful. Um, so um, I'm just grateful that everything worked out for you. I mean, ain't no perfect life, but it seems like you, you have a pretty good life. And I'm happy for you, and I just hope it keeps getting better and better for you and your loved ones. So, mwah, those the flowers to you. Like Grandma say, give me my flowers where I'm living. Those are your flowers from me to you. I love you, cuz. I always will. Happy birthday, Mom. It's your son, Steve Swabby Clacken. Uh, one of your three favorites. You know, I uh, always, uh, make fun of uh, that situation always playing around with that but you know I love you unconditionally like all your other sons and uh, I want to wish you a happy birthday and just celebrate life with you each day and love on you as long as I can um, you know me I'm always playing around and I have my moves where I'm serious and uh, this is something that I really uh, love to take part in and do uh, your baby boy Demetrius love that love that kid to death I mean, man now, I have to say he's a man, and I'm just really thankful for this opportunity to tell you. I know each day I try my best to tell you, and whenever I remember to, to let you know I love you and appreciate everything you've done for me. But uh, this is great to be able to do this for you on your birthday, and uh, have everyone come together like this, and uh, man, 
that boy meet you something else. That man, I say again, that man is something else. Putting this together and well deserved. You deserve this and more. You deserve the world. You're giving the world to uh, everyone around you, especially your three boys. Uh, you've loved us unconditionally and taught us how to love unconditionally. And we're, we're reciprocating that love and we want to love on you as long as we can. So we want to keep you around and keep you in good spirits and good health. Uh, that's one of my big goals is to help you increase your health and increase your happiness and be a part of that each day with you. And um, just taking it back to being born, you made one of the ultimate sacrifices by stating that um, if anything was to happen during your complicated uh, pregnancy, that uh, you wanted them to save my life instead of yours if they had to make a decision. And that's huge, you know. People ain't just giving lives out here. So um, I, I realize that in each day, I know it's a blessing. And it uh, took me some time at a young age to get it at first to uh, be thankful for the things I had, but I had one of the greatest loves the whole time, which is you, you know. And that's a blessing because many people wish they had that. And, you've given that to us since the beginning you know gave us that tough love gave us that unconditional love and a huge part of everything i am and everything i stand for has to do with what you gave uh, to me each day and i want to pay that back by showing you that i love you and explaining it here on this video i have to do more than that just telling you in this uh little quick video i can go on for days about this but just letting you know each day and in my actions you know i'm more about the action so letting you know through words but I want to live my life in a way to where you can be proud of me proud of all uh, your other sons and uh, us coming together and being there for each other like you were there for us and man I'm just super proud that you're my mother I couldn't ask for a better mom couldn't ask for a better role model sometimes you know growing up as a as a kid with only one parent sometimes we worry about what we don't have you know but I had everything right there, you know, and I said it already, but I couldn't ask for more. And man, I'm super, super proud that I was blessed to have you as a mother. And every decision you made and every decision that you chose not to make or every path you took in life has guided me to this moment where I am. And I'm really thankful for where I am in life. And I know that I couldn't have made it here without you, Mom. I love you. Hello, Mildred. How are you? I know you're very surprised right now. But I just wanted to wish you a happy birthday. And I'd just like to thank you over the years that you always supported me and helped me through the years. And I'd like to say that you are a very good mother and you did a fine job with Demetrius. And I really appreciate everything you've done. Because I know I wasn't there, but I appreciate everything you've done. You fulfilled both duties as mother and father. And I thank you for that. Final letter. Have you ever heard of the story? And it's not a famous story, but it's a story of perseverance, tears, but most of all, growth. The name of the story is Chain Around the Rose. One day this bird planted a seed. It planted this seed in a dark place and then it flew away. While the bird went away, the seed began to grow, but it only began to grow because a rose nourished it. And yes, it was a rose. While the seed began to grow through the years, it began to wonder who was the bird who had planted him among the thorns. So the seed began to contemplate what it would become over and over again until the seed continued on. Now the seed began to develop its looks, but of course, it still did not understand everything it would become, especially being surrounded by chains and of course all the thorns. Time went by and the seed became older, old enough to understand certain things about the bird who had planted him, as well as the place where it was planted at. So now the seed began to develop a sense of urgency to succeed for the rose who had nourished it. Time went by, now the seed has grown to realize what it is and what it will become. However, there are some new complications outside of the area where the seed had grown. 
In other words, the seed moved on from the chains where it was born. Now the seed has to nourish itself and make sure that it has to continue on. So do you know how the seed nourished itself? Well, the seed did it like this. It worked hard watering itself, feeding itself more knowledge. And through the ups and downs, the seed continued to grow. The seed even watered itself through its own tears because through its own tears, the seed continued to grow. And finally, the seed became what it was to become, which was a rose. But the only reason why it knew how to nourish itself was due to the rose and all of its help. Now the seed that grew into the rose amongst the chains would like to give roses to the rose that helped him break out of the chains. Mama, you deserve your roses while you're still here and much more. Just wanna say thank you for everything you have done for me. Thank you for always being there for me. Thank you for teaching me what true love is and thank you for displaying that love to my family, to me, to my brothers, to all of my cousins, to every single person that you have come across. You don't know how special you truly are. And I told you you're a superwoman, but now I'm also telling you that you're a rose that deserve her roses while she's still here. I love you, Mama, from the bottom of my heart. Thank you for everything.